All right, let me show you right now, before we've even done anything in this course, that actually things can be quite wild and beautifully fun. So we did a 2-1 machine, we did a 3-1 machine, and we can go up or to a 10-1 machine. But what if I mix the numbers up a bit and say did a 3-2 machine, so it mixes base 2 and base 3 together. Now this makes sense, when there's three dots in a box, they should explode and become two dots. Two dots, watch out. One place to the left. All right, what is the machine going to do? Well, let's play with it. Let's put in one dot. One dot, zoom. Doesn't do much, stays as one dot. Put in two dots, zoom. Doesn't do much, we need three to explode to become two. So it's two dots, stays as two. But three, zoom. Three dots explode, kaboom! And become one dot, oh sorry, two dots, one place to the left. So the code for three is now nothing, 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 two, zero. Four, zoom. Okay, two, one, five, zoom. Not very exciting, stays as two, two. But I have a feeling six is going to be particularly exciting. Here comes the sixth dot, you ready for it? Zoom. All right, three dots explode, kaboom! And become two dots, one place to the left. But then three of these dots explode, kapow! Smudgy, 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 and become two dots, one place to the left. I think that's it for the explosions. So six is now two, one, zero. Seven, zoom, there's the seventh dot, two, one, one. Eight, zoom, there's the eighth dot, two, one, two. Nine, and nine's gonna be interesting. Here goes, here comes the ninth dot. Zoom, always the rightmost box. Three explode and become two. Kaboom! And that two. Three explode, kapow! And become two. And yet another three explode. Kathwack! Three explode and become two. So the code for nine is nothing, nothing, nothing. Two, one, zero, zero. Ten, I guess, would be zoom. Two, one, zero, one, and off we go. I can spend hours doing this, but the real question is, what are these doing? Is this base two? It doesn't look like it. Base two probably wouldn't have twos in it, I guess. Is it base three? Maybe. Maybe it's not a base at all. But clearly something's going on. In fact, I can maybe start playing with some structure. For example, 11. Now, I know it's going to be two, one, zero, two, but what if I thought it was six plus five? Now, six I can look up. That's two, one, zero, two, one, zero. And I add to that five, which is two, two. Can I just say the answer is going to be zero plus two is two. I'm just doing like grade school arithmetic on this. One plus two is three, and two and nothing is another two. So is the answer just two, three, two? Well, no, because obviously three of these dots explode, leave nothing behind, make an extra two dots there. So this is really four, zero, two. Actually, that doesn't make quite sense too, because three of these dots would explode, leaving one behind, making extra two dots, one place to the left, <gasps> which is indeed the code I expected for, whoops, 11. So that's kind of curious. So maybe, even though I don't know what this machine is doing, which is actually the big question, what are these things, I still can do arithmetic in it. Very intriguing. Now when we get to section three of this course, we're gonna spend a lot of time on this machine. We're gonna really try to get to understand what's going on here. This is actually wonderfully wild and wacky. But uh, for now, keep this in the back of your mind. As you play with the next few lessons as we stick with the 10-1 machine, see what, what keeps working for this 3-2 machine and what it means. Can you make sense of it? And we'll get there. We'll get there. Be fun. All right, back to the 10-1 machine. But it's just a brief introduction to how things can get beautifully wild and wacky right at the get-go. All right, thanks.